What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here with another transfer video, confirmed transfer. Joe Hart has signed for Tottenham Hotspur this morning on a two-year deal. Um, as you can see up on that screen, Joe Hart holding up the famous Tottenham Hotspur shirt. What do you make out of this transfer? Yeah, well, obviously we, we got an inkling yesterday um, that this was going to go through today. He had his medical yesterday. It was very well documented. And then we've been, it's just been officially announced. I think it's a good move from the club. I think it gets someone with a certain mentality through the door. Apparently a big um, factor in him coming to the club was his attitude. Apparently his work work ethic and the, and his uh, mentality uh, in training as well. He's got, got rave reviews apparently from the coaching staff at Burnley about how he works with younger keepers as well. Mm. so apparently Mourinho was very impressed with him and it's a transfer I think makes sense for all parties um, we get a homegrown player in the squad and I think he has a player with a lot of experience a lot of experience winning trophies as well and I think he has a mentality of expecting more from everyone so hopefully he can push us on a bit and he's got that leadership quality about him as well you know he's been a captain at big clubs before um, you know won the league twice with Man City um, he was England's number one for a, a moment in time but kind of fell off the rails after he left Man City, didn't he? Because he got pushed out of the club by Pep Guardiola. And then after that, he kind of his career just kind of faltered away, didn't it? Yeah, he had a really tough time at Torino, really bad time. Uh, especially the Italian press hammering him week in, yeah. week out. Um, and then I he... think it was a bit unfair, though. You know, I mean, He made a few high-profile mistakes, but all in all, he wasn't that bad at Torino. He was. Yeah, he was. He, he was. I can trust me. Um, he went to Italy as England's number one. And they really exposed a lot of some big flaws in his game, especially um, quite uh, famously his low shots down to his left. He's really, really weak at. And he was exposed time after time. The, the uh, Italian media were harping on at him. God, just hit it low to his left, hit it low to his left. And then people started doing it and it started working. Really? Yeah, and it was really, really bad for him. And I think it hit, corrected then. it hit his confidence really high. And obviously he made some real high profile mistakes. Then he moved to West Ham. Had a really tough time there as well. We just wasn't getting in there. He actually got in the team, but again, making a lot of high-profile errors. Did he get errors. pushed out for Adrian there? Was it Adrian or was it? He got. Put, I think he got pushed out for Adrian, but I think he started the season as their number one as well, mm. and just really faulted quite badly. He was actually in goal when Rooney scored that goal from the halfway line yeah. for Everton. Yeah. He was. He was the key who made that mistake. Um, had a tough time there. Then he got released by West Ham. He went to Burnley. And then, again, was first choice for a few games, but ended up not being up to standard. Mm. And I think it's just a confidence thing. It's a mentality thing from Joe Hart. And apparently, as well, one of the main reasons he was excited to come to Tottenham is because Mourinho is very good at getting into the psychology of players and getting into their into their heads. And he was quite excited to maybe he could potentially fix some of the issues that he's having from a confidence standpoint. Obviously, as it stands, he's been brought in as a number three. Mm -hmm. um, obviously with Michel Vorm leaving I've heard a few inklings and also we heard at the end of the season Gazaniga was saying that he wouldn't mind going back to uh, Argentina or something like that do you think that Gazaniga could leave this summer and he'll be pushed up to a number two with Alfie Whiteman or something coming in as third choice I think at the moment no I think at the moment Gaza will go into the season number two I don't think there's any talk of him leaving but I, I think Hart has come into the squad to, to compete for that number two position. I don't think he's come to a squad like uh, Rob Green or Scott Carson just to sit there and um, make up the numbers in the squad. I think he actually has um, ambitions of potentially playing. And I think especially given our big start to the season and all the games we're playing, I think he might well, he might well get a chance uh, in those know, games. It's not like he's an outfield player where he'll need... like Goalkeepers don't really need that much rest. I know, but, 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 the, but the true volume of games we're playing is unprecedented. So I think he might get a chance maybe maybe the EFL... Week. In twice, the, it, twice in two weeks we're going to be playing two games in 48 hours or something yeah. so I think like I think in the EFL Cup he might if we get uh, if he if we progress or in the third round he might get a chance in in, in those games and I think he's um, coming he said he said in an interview um, with Spurs he said it's like a new beginning for him it's a new start it's like start fresh I know it's 33 but for a keeper it's still relative it's not that old so it's he's not young but he's not exactly he's not he's not exactly Rob Green he's 40 but look we've signed Brad Friedel at 40 years old Exactly, he was class, Brad Friedel, when he came into the Todd. I think yeah, um, Joe Hart has a lot of experience, and I think um, it will be good for the young keepers as well. If he, if he mm. works, if he spends a lot of time working with them closely, um, hopefully he, he can bring them on and give them some good tips and uh, how to be a top class keeper. And I know he's had a really tough couple of years. He said that himself, but hopefully he can regain some of the confidence he used to have because he used to be a very confident keeper yeah. he used to be very loud and very vocal I think that whole episode with Pep Guardiola really shot his confidence mm. 
really did and you could see it you could see it his as i said before his career went down the pan when um when pep guardiola kind of forced him out of man city but, but yeah but he isn't going to be forced to play as much with his feet as pep, pep demanded when he joined uh, city um, which is one of the biggest criticisms that pep had of him is that he couldn't play the football that pep wanted someone like edison who's incredible with his feet his long range passing mm. and stuff um at spurs heart isn't going to be made isn't going to be required to do as much of that kind of stuff wherever he does play if he does get on the pitch so I think um, I think it's just a, it makes sense, and he's taken a wage cut as well. It just shows his commitment to the cause, and shows that he really wants to be at Tottenham. Apparently, he had offers in in lower divisions like a Blackburn and Derby. He was offered contracts, and he um, turned them down because he he just the chance of uh, playing in the highest level one more time um, appealed to him more. So I think it's a transfer that makes sense all round. Um, I don't think he's going to be seeing that much time on the pitch. Um, I don't think. But I think it's also a player where if we, we do go down to our third choice, um, he's a, he's one of probably the best third choice keeper you could probably ask for. Yeah. No, It'd probably definitely. upgrade on Vaughan. I think definitely an upgrade on Vaughan. Uh, but look, I think if you see what he was posting on social media the last few days of him in the gym, he looks bloody ripped. Yeah, he looks like he's been he's been working very very hard. So look. looks like he's got a deck of a giraffe as well. well <laughs> one of the longest necks I've ever seen of a Raghib. Unbelievable. And all these rumors, these last minute rumors of potential move to Turkey, which was an odd one. Yeah, being, being sport are not the most reliable, yeah, are they? Being sport in, Tur- in Turkey um, really released some exclusive breaking news this morning that he's agreed a deal to join um, Fat. Well, I don't know what I have to say there some Turkish team yeah while he's posting on social media him at Spurs Lodge it was a really odd one and then a few hours later he's obviously announced the Spurs so being sports have got a, uh, didn't do didn't do well on that one um, but yeah so, so Joe Hart is officially I don't know what number he's got that, I'm probably not sure. third, what, what, 13 what was Vaughan was 13 wasn't yeah, he so I'm sure he'll take number 13 um, but yeah that is confirmed Joe Hart as Tottenham Hotspur player uh, let's move on. We want to talk about Leon Bailey. Now, uh, mm. it's been cropped up on social media yesterday. He was posting on Instagram about him being in London. Um, and that sent kind of Spurs Twitter into a bit of a frenzy last night. Was that only because a couple of weeks ago, I think it was Sport, um, the, I think a Spanish publication, they said that Tottenham have inquired about the availability of Bailey and they're looking at a potential deal. And then, uh, and then, last, uh, then yesterday, or two days ago, the odds on Skybet slashed... Uh, for Leon Bailey to Tottenham yeah they sla- people say they're slashed but they still went down it only went up down to like 2 to 1 or something or yeah, it wasn't like, like, Joe it wasn't, yeah it wasn't like it was odds on or anything for him yeah. to join so I don't think it's too much to get excited about let's be no. honest um, obviously everyone would love Leon Bailey at Tottenham but as seeing as we just signed Steven Bergwijn it doesn't really make too much sense to me I think he's a player who can play on the left and the right there's um, I think um, obviously obviously that versatility I think he's been a, such a good player for Leverkusen in the past couple of years he's still young like 23 yeah 20, 23 24 yeah so he's still got a lot of uh, scope to improve he's a winger who has a high, quite a high ceiling um, obviously, and uh, there was rumours. Uh, the Athletic was saying that, that Tottenham, if there was money left over at the end of the window, could potentially be looking in the market for a winger. Yeah, I don't think Bailey's just going to cost money left over though. No, he's going to cost <laughs> you at least thirty million, probably. I'm thinking so. And the rest. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much more. Uh, probably yeah, between thirty and forty million. I don't think any more than that. Um, and I, obviously, he would be a perfect replacement should Lamella leave. I think in in that potential I mean, he'll be competing for a first team spot wouldn't he if you if so look i would love bailey to come it would be perfect for our squad but i just can't i can't see this being done any i think this is this is one is only going to be done at a cut price deal late in the window if it's like one of those things where leverkusen want to sell it's not like they're desperate to sell him though no, are they? especially if they're going to get money for harvard's mm, definitely yeah. not i think he could he's a potential star by bailey and i think he's, he's a young player with a lot of potential uh, but i think the him being in london it's just all talk at the moment. I don't think there's anything serious about it. I haven't heard any serious links just yet, but I would love Bailey at Tottenham. Yeah, who wouldn't? Uh, but anyway, that is your Tottenham update today. Joe Hart has signed for Tottenham. Leon Bailey is in London. What's he in London for? Nobody knows. Yeah. <laughs> we, I'm sure we'll soon find out. Like, subscribe and comment below. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs. Spurs.